Next, we will show the part work. Second, this second one. Okay. After that, press middle mouse button and right mouse button together, and then we select the dentums. After that, um, we go to dentum, select plane, main plane, and we select put it at here the middle UCS. Okay. After that, we go to face, stitch, select all, okay, and then we go to solid, cut, select this one, middle mouse button, okay, and then we select the YZ plane, select okay. After that, we select the line section line option sorry and then we this option we change it to by direction okay after that I'll go to edit copy geometry radial array select this one media mouse button after that select the line and the counter is 2, the angle is 180, merge on. After that, select OK. And then we go to our face. Composite face, select these two because it is a planar surface. Both of these also planar, so we can use the composite face. Middle mouse button, apply. Repeat this. Okay, this is the result. Okay, next we go to dentums, plane parallel. Okay, and at here we select this face. And this we change to by point. We select this point. Okay. After that, we select the sketcher and then uh, change it to top view. We add the reference. We add it here, middle mouse button to accept it. And then we draw a rectangle. Middle mouse button. And uh, we give it, uh, give it the dimensions. So this two here is 10 and this is 20. Okay, when the sketch is become a purple color, it means it is fully defined. And then we can uh, middle mouse button or right click, select exit sketcher. Okay, and then uh, we go to Face bound, select OK. And then we need to swap it. So we select this face. The arrow is pointing downward. And this delta we change to, to reference uh, option. And we pick this uh, face as the reference. And then we select the first optional, enter a draft angle. The draft angle is 10 degree and we flip to this side, the left to left side and then click apply. So repeat this for uh, right side. 
need the mouse button to reference okay need the mouse button and then uh, this okay flip it to left side okay so this is the bridge Okay, after that we go to um, phase stitch we stitch these three phase select OK and then uh, we go to solid cut we select this middle mouse button okay after that select this one the arrow is pointing there and then click apply select this one middle mouse button select ok after that uh, go to solid merge select this and this mm. Okay, and the arrow is pointing there so select OK OK this is the result after that we go to solid again we select round ok make sure the smooth chain is on and we select this this edge after that middle mouse button and the radius is 5 ok in Simatra E10 we can uh, view the result ok or you go to click here the preview button so you can view the result like this after that select OK now we want to activate the fix side ok and then um, we go to uh, add new component <coughs> the, we select the part ok we name it as um, cavity and <clears throat> make sure the file is saved it into your working folder you select from your working folder this we use uh, this we change to on assembly UCS ok after that um, we go to sketch and we select this face and then um, <coughs> we draw a rectangle with the mouse button and then uh, we need to add the constraint to this button we select this point and the middle point Okay, and this one we select the uh, same. Okay, repeat this one. We select the same Y. Okay, this for same X. This for same Y. After that, uh, we make the mouse button, and then we select the dimension icon. This is two one O. This is one six four. Okay. And then we middle mouse button, right click, exit sketcher. And then uh, we go to solid new extrude both side and we select this for fifty five. 
okay and here we can change to by reference or by delta this also same yeah for this exercise we use the by delta options and this is 55 and another one is 100 so select ok and then we go to solid cut we select um, this uh, object middle mouse button select this uh, plane ok after that select ok so this is the result okay now we hide the parting surface part and uh, we change to switch to parting tree and at here we uh, show the split 0 1 and hide the split 0 2 Okay, after that, we select Cut Active or Export to Part options and then we select this uh, cavity and then uh, we select this to middle mouse button this we change to Import select OK Okay, and then uh, we go to the dynamic sections so we need to hide the part work the second one of both part work sorry and then um, you must make sure the cavity is activate <coughs> uh, after that, we go to face, stitch, select entire model, select OK. And then we select this dynamic section. Maybe I pick here to view the result. This I maybe have changed to, sorry, <coughs> um, maybe change to a long Y. And so this is the result. So this is the solid. Yeah. Okay. This is how the um, dynamic section uh, is function is work. Yeah.